Hi, Mike Seifert here. So, you're trying to find a great painter for your real estate investment project, and you're wondering how can you find somebody that's going to do a great job. Well, here's how you do it. You're going to call up your local Sherwin-Williams, or you're going to go down there. You're going to talk to the person that's in charge of selling paint, whether it be the manager or somebody that's there a lot, and you're going to ask them this one question. Who, or get, ask for two people, who buys the most paint here, and can you give me a reference on who pays their bills on time? So what that's going to tell you is the person that comes down there the most that buys the most paint and that pays their bills is busy. That means they're in demand. That means they're a good painter. And that's exactly what I did years ago when I was doing my flip house in Sterling Heights, Michigan. I went down to Sherwin-Williams. I asked the manager. I said, hey, give me the name of two of your best painters that come in here that order the most paint and that pay their bills on time. And I received two names. I called both, and I hired one of them. And then I negotiated with that one painter, uh, you know, to come down a little bit better uh, on their rates. And they did, because I had multiple investment properties at the time. So that's how you do it. You're going to go to Sherwin Williams, and you're going to just ask for two references of the best uh, painters that pay their bills on time, and that order a lot of paint. And then once you interview at least two of them, you're going to get them to come down a little bit on their prices. And if you are an investor, they would, I'm sure would be happy to give you a reduced rate if you're going to use them on and on. The lesson here is you don't want to skimp on painting. Uh, you know, I've hired really crappy painters, people that claimed they had experience, but they really didn't. And in the end, it just costs you a lot of time and trouble. And you're going to have to find another painter if they mess up anyway, which happened to me. So lessons learned. And I finally found a great painter. And I have him in my phone book till this day. So, okay, well, take care and thanks for watching this video.